Castlevania II Simon's Quest for the NES has grown into one of my favorite Castlevania games. My journey through the series started when I got Castlevania III Dracula's Curse for Christmas one year, so I'll always have feelings of nostalgia for the straight platformers, but as I grew older, I found the Castlevania titles with adventure and RPG elements to be my preferred type of game. Despite loving Castlevania II, I can acknowledge that the translation for this game is pure garbage. Many of the clearly written clues were translated into complete gibberish. Many people consider this to be a game where you are required to use a walkthrough to beat it, and they're not necessarily wrong. Of course, you can get through this game without help, it just requires a lot of trial and error. In this video, I'm going to cover every clue that was mistranslated and explain what they're supposed to say. Now. Not all the clues were mistranslated, many of them are perfectly fine, and some clues are intentional lies. That's something that a lot of people overlook. Even the instruction manual says that some of the villagers will deceive you. The point of that is to send you on a wild goose chase, usually in the wrong direction, wasting precious time in a game where the ending is determined by how quickly you can defeat Dracula. This is evident in the two clues regarding the diamond weapon. One villager tells you someone at Deborah Cliff has the diamond, and another one directs you to a graveyard. These are pretty accurate translations of the Japanese dialogue, and the graveyard is the one intended to throw you off. There's also some dialogues that were changed due to Nintendo's policy on religion. During the NES and early SNES era, Nintendo required developers to remove references to religion, this is why the Cross of Fear is renamed to the Boomerang in the first Castlevania game, or the why the Bible was renamed in Legend of Zelda. Even spells like Holy in Final Fantasy were renamed to Pearl in order to comply with Nintendo's rules. I should also note that there are a few great fan-made translation patches for this game, which will give you a much better experience should you choose to use them. Let's start with the clues from the hidden tomes throughout the world. All of these are meant to be truthful, so the badly translated ones become essentially useless. Clear a path at Berkeley Mansion with a white crystal. This one is translated just fine and explains correctly that you need the white crystal to reveal a path in the mansion. Like many of the translations, they are shortened from the original Japanese to meet the character limits of the text boxes. A symbol of evil will appear when you strike the stake. This translation mixes up the object and subject of the sentence. The clue tells you to smash an oak stake at some particular object, which the clue alludes to. Still, this clue is enough to inform the player to get the oak stake and use it somewhere in the mansion. Destroy the curse and you'll rule Brahms Mansion. This is complete gibberish. This is an essential clue on how to get to Brahms Mansion. It's supposed to say that clearing the curse on the river will lead you to Brahms Mansion. This along with another clue from a tome is supposed to indicate that the ferryman is the one that's cursed, and destroying the curse will allow you to get to the mansion. A flame flickers inside the Ring of Fire. More nonsense. At least this clue is for an optional weapon though. I'm not sure how this got so badly translated. It should say that the Holy Flame sleeps in the land that is forever closed off to daylight. This clue should direct you to the dark cave east of Berkeley Mansion. To replenish the earth, kneel by the lake with a blue crystal. Wow, for once the clue is very clear on what you're supposed to do. An old gypsy holds a diamond in front of Deborah Cliff. Again, this translation is clear and understandable. Destroy the curse with Dracula's heart. This is the second part of the clue for the ferryman. This line is incomplete since it's supposed to say that it destroys the curse of someone who is cursed. The lack of key information in these two clues, namely that the river is involved, means that you're going to try and use the heart on every single person and location in the game, and on top of that, there's no clue as to how the heart actually works. Garlic in the graveyard summons a stranger. This one is shortened, but accurate. Sadly, the colorful descriptive dialogue of the Japanese version is lost to the character count. It originally said that when placing garlic on the ground in the graveyard, demons will be destroyed and a stranger who awaits you will appear. 
Wait for a Soul with a Red Crystal on Deborah Cliff. For whatever reason, the translator replaced the Japanese word for wind with soul. Maybe this would have been acceptable for a Hebrew translation, since wind and spirit are the same word, but not in English or in Japanese. Even the original is very cryptic, since it doesn't say to kneel at the cliff in either the English or Japanese version. This is something that the fan translations add to give you a better hint. Place laurels in a silk bag to bring them to life. It's another simplified translation, but accurate. It indicates that the silk bag will allow you to carry the laurels. The curse has killed the laurel tree. This is probably the worst mistranslation. The original says that a person living without laurels will perish on the cursed swamp. I have no words on how horrible this particular translation is. Dracula's nail may solve the evil mystery. More nonsense. The nail doesn't solve mysteries. The clue is supposed to clearly explain that the nail breaks evil walls, working the same way as the holy water does. Dracula's evil knife blurs Camilla's vision. This one is ridiculous. First, the Japanese game always refers to Dracula as the king of evil and the Grim Reaper as the god of death. In this translation, they mixed up who's who. It's supposed to say the Grim Reaper's knife. Also, they misspelled Carmilla as Camilla. And on top of that, the instruction manual renames Carmilla to Vampira for no good reason, making this clue absolutely worthless. It's supposed to be a clue that the knife stunlocks and does massive damage on the Carmilla boss. Okay, so there are the 13 clues from the tomes. Next, I'll explain the mistranslated text from the villagers. I'll leave out the ones that are correctly translated since there's a lot of these. But first, I want to mention the graveyard duck. The dialogue is, get a silk bag from the graveyard duck to live longer. Most people assume that this is a mistranslation, but it's actually pretty accurate. The original Japanese text does indicate a duck, and some people claim that it means something else, like a man who waddles around like a duck, or a man who is ducking behind a gravestone, but it really isn't. The particular word that's used literally refers to the animal duck. Also, the graveyard duck makes appearances in several other games like Order of Ecclesia. It seems like this is an in-joke, and it's simply a villager trying to lie to you. Also, the line, what a horrible night to have a curse, is a strange translation of and then descended the horrible night. Plus, the line, the morning sun has vanquished the horrible night, is also somewhat of a strange translation of, the night of a nightmare has ended. Anyway, back to the incorrect translations. When the ferryman says, I'll show you the way, he's also supposed to tell you the next stop is Belasco Marsh, which seems like a very lazy translation. A magic potion will destroy the wall of evil. More missing words in this one. It's also supposed to indicate that it damages enemies. Also, the magic potion, or holy water as it was originally called, was changed to meet Nintendo's edicts. A crooked trader is offering bum deals in this town. Gibberish, which is completely lost in translation. It's supposed to say that sellers who do business are in hiding. Laurels in your soup enhances its aroma. This is absolutely worthless. The problem is, is that it's a pun in the original Japanese, as the word shishu can mean either a stew or a fatal situation. It's essentially like saying, if you're in a pickle, eat some laurels. But instead, they went with this garbage line that means absolutely nothing. Clues to Dracula's riddle are in the town of Alba. It sounds all right, except for they used the wrong town. The town is supposed to be Algeba, not Alba. Alba is a completely different town in the game. This turns a factual clue into another lie. Dracula's eyeball reflects the curse. This makes you think that it's a reflective shield of some kind, except it's supposed to tell you that it allows you to see where the breakable blocks containing clues are located. I want to get to know you better. Okay, it's a rewrite because the woman in the Japanese version is asking for sex from you. 
More Nintendo censorship. At least I can understand why they would have a problem with a prostitute trying to have sex with the main character in a game that they were marketing to eight-year-olds. Don't look into the Death Star or you will die. This one is strange. It's actually supposed to be translated as Death Star Omen, and it's a reference to the manga series Hakuto no Ken, also known as Fist of the North Star. Why Konami included this particular reference is beyond me. I guess they really liked that series. In that series, anyone that can see the Death Star Omen will die within a year. After Castlevania, I warned you not to return. What? What is this? You're referencing the game title? To be fair, the Japanese text is also nonsense. Still, they shouldn't have broken the fourth wall. The cross in Luraba's mansion must be found. It's not a bad translation, but for some reason, Nintendo was not okay with the word rosary, but they were fine with the word cross? This policy makes no sense. Rest here for a while. More censorship from the top. The priest in the Japanese version actually gives Simon a full benediction. Alright, there are all the mistranslated lines from Simon's quest. If there's any I've left out, it's because they were all translated clearly enough to convey the original meaning from the Japanese version. It's up to you to determine whether those conversations with villagers are truths or lies. Good luck with Castlevania 2. I hope this helps you on your quest to destroy Dracula's curse on the world once and for all. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.